because we make measurements in science when we are performing experiments. And measurements have inherent uncertainties in them. That means we always end up in some cases where some numbers are significant and some numbers are not. How do we determine the number of significant digits in a measurement? There are rules that we follow when we are determining significant figures. Rule number one. All non-zero numbers are significant. What does that mean? Take a look at this measurement. 435.6 centimeter. Since all of the digits here are non-zero, that means this will be a four significant figures number. That is rule number one. Rule number two, all the zeros in between non-zero numbers are considered significant. Let us take a look at an example. If you have a measurement that looks like this, 30203 meters. These zeros in between non-zero numbers are considered significant, which means this measurement would end up as five significant figures number. Rule number three. Leading zeros, and what does that mean when we say leading zeros? It means zeros that are to the left of the first non-zero number. Let me give you an example here. Zero, 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 two, five, seven meters. All of these zeros are called leading zeros. They are not significant. They are only placeholders, which means this measurement will simply be a three significant figures number. This is also another example of that. 0 0.000 214 meters. All of these zeros are also not significant, just like those above the uh, those in the first number, because they are simply placeholders, which means this number will end up as three significant figures. That is rule number three. Rule number four, there are some zeros that are considered trailing zeros. Now, that could be a little tricky because there are two types of trailing zeros. Look at this number. 253.000 centimeter. These zeros are considered trailing zeros because they are to the right of a non zero number. In this case, these three zeros will be considered significant 
because they fall after a decimal point. Which means this measurement will end up as six significant figures. But remember, there are two types of trailing zeros. So take a look at this measurement. 253000 zero, zero, zero centimeter. These zeros, these trailing zeros, are not followed by a decimal point and they do not fall after a decimal point. So they are considered to be not significant. Which means this number would be three significant figures. But take a look at this one, this last example that I want to write up here. Two, five, three, zero, zero, zero. And then there is a decimal here, centimeter. This measurement will be considered six significant figures because these trailing zeros are followed by a decimal. So if you see a decimal at the end of trailing zeros, then the trailing zeros will be considered significant. So, this leads to a little problem. If you write a number like this for a mathematician, 3570, and you ask the mathematician how many significant figures. If the mathematician tells you that is four significant figures, the mathematician is not wrong. But I just explained to you, in science, we consider this to be three significant figures. We say that the last zero here, because it is not followed by a decimal, and it does not follow a decimal, is not significant. So that leads to a little problem. Why should we have two different significant figures for the same number and how do we prevent this problem to prevent this problem the best way to write a number in an unambiguous way to indicate the number of significant figures is to write the number in scientific notation what do i mean Take a look at these two numbers. 3.570 times 10 to the power 3 and 3.57 times 10 to the power 3. In, as to a mathematician, they mean exactly the same thing. But they are two different significant figures. We only take a look at the decimal part. So, for this number, we have four significant figures. While for this number, we have three significant figures. And when you write numbers like this, you leave no doubt to how many significant figures you are trying to express. So, my advice to you is that if you want to write a measurement in an unambiguous way, write it in scientific notation. Does that mean all numbers have some kind of significant figures in them and some that are not significant? That is actually not true. 
we do have some exact numbers. Numbers that have no ambiguities as to their significant figures because they are simply exact. That means they have no significant figures. What do I mean? Take a look at this first example. Counted quantities. Five pencils or 10 oranges, 25 apples, 500 cars, $2,000. These are counted quantities. If you can count it, then it is not a measurement. And if it is not a measurement, it will have no number of significant figures. That means it will be exact. Which means if you're looking at this five pencils and you say it is one significant figure, you would be wrong. Because it has no number of significant figures. As a matter of fact, it has infinite number of significant figures. That is an example of exact numbers. Another example of exact numbers are defined quantities. For example, there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. That is defined. 999.99 meters is not the same thing as one kilometer, which means this relationship is exact. And when I say it is exact, again, remember, that means it has infinite number of significant figures. So please, when you are looking at this defined quantity, do not make the mistake of thinking, oh, that one is one significant figure. It is not. And this 1000 is not one significant figure either because it's, it's not a measurement, it's a defined quantity. Only measurements have significant figures. The last type of exact number I want to mention today are integers in an equation. For example, the formula for finding the circumference of a circle is given as 2 pi r, where c represents circumference. of a circle. If you take a look at this formula and you look at this two and you say, oh, that is one significant figure, you would be wrong because it is simply a constant. It is not a measured quantity. It is a constant. It has infinite number of significant figures. Now, I want you to pause your video and I want you to practice with these questions. Okay, let us work on this together. Indicate the number of significant figures in each of the following. In question A, you should have four significant figures. Remember, this zero is sandwiched between two non-zero numbers. That means it is significant. For question B, this would be one significant figure because we have a trailing zero here and this trailing zero is not followed by a decimal, which means it is not significant. 
for question C here. This number is written in scientific notation. There is no ambiguity. How many significant figures? Simply look at the decimal part. So this would have four significant figures. For question D, we have a trailing zero here that is not followed by a decimal. So this would be considered a three significant figure number. For question E, we have different types of zeros here. We have these two zeros that are sandwiched between non-zero numbers. So they are considered significant. But we have these trailing zeros that are not followed by a decimal. And they do not follow after a decimal. So they are considered to be non-significant. Which means this number would end up as six significant figures. For question F, we have a number of leading zeros here. And remember, leading zeros are not considered significant. We also have a trailing zero here. But this trailing zero is significant because it follows somewhere behind a decimal. So, how many significant figures do we have in F? We have three significant figures. In question G, we have a trailing zero that is followed by a decimal. So, that gives us how many significant figures? Three significant figures. For question H, we have 45 cars. Well, that is a counted quantity. And we know that counted quantities are exact. So, it has infinite number of significant figures. And lastly, for question I, we have a number written in scientific notation with no ambiguity as to how many significant figures because this would be considered four significant figures.